On this week's short stack, we'll be talking about Batman 21, The Button. I won't tell you if it's any good in five minutes or less. Batman 21 is the first part of a four-part crossover with The Flash, wherein Batman and The Flash use their detective and forensic science skills to examine the button that they found in the DC Rebirth one-shot. The issue starts off in Arkham with Gotham Girl watching a hockey game. It is Metropolis versus Gotham. And during the course of the game, one of the Metropolis players is fighting one of the Gotham players, and the Gotham player is beating him to death. While this is happening, Gotham Girl starts to hear voices or gets this weird like psychic thing and she falls to her knees saying how everyone's going to die superman won't be able to save us the world is ending while this is happening batman is in the bat cave and he is examining the button and nothing really is coming of his research except when he throws the button to the side by psycho pirate's mask the two have this length and for a brief second batman sees his father as batman which happened in the flashpoint event when bruce comes out of it he immediately contacts the flash and says hey get over here the button has interacted with Psycho Pirate's mask. We need to find out what's going on. However, the Flash is a bit busy. He's finding 37 Samurai and he tells Bruce, give me one minute and I'll be there. The rest of the issue is a countdown from 60 to the Flash arriving at the Batcave. During this countdown, Eberthon, Professor Zoom, shows up and attacks Batman. Zoom starts to fight Batman and for most of the fight, he thinks that he's fighting Thomas Wayne. He says, you know, you killed me. I'm here to return the favor. But over the course of the fight, Zoom learns that it is Bruce that he's fighting. Zoom completely manhandles Batman, but before he can strike the killing blow, Batman finds a way to distract him and lands some blows. Does Bruce last a whole one minute with Zoom? Well, you'll have to find out on next week's short stack when we talk about the button part two. As for part one, does this issue work? Yes, and actually I kind of flip-flopped on it. At first I read it and I was like, well, that, that was over kind of quick. I'm not sure if we got much out of it. But the more I thought about it, the more I love the pacing. The countdown counter on each page actually adds to the weight of the issue. You're not sure what's going to happen at the end of 60 seconds. You're not sure if Flash is going to make it to the scene, or if Zoom is going to kill Batman, or if Dr. Manhattan is going to show up. You're not really sure what's going to happen. You just know that something's going to happen once this countdown reaches its finale. At first, I thought the rush pacing worked against the book, but the more I think about it, the more it really helps this issue out and that's not to say that things don't get set up we get the link between psycho pirates mask and the button we get barry and bruce doing detective things we get the surprise appearance of edward thon who is going to tie into the whole watchman event but also this is picking up traces back from flashpoint with the letter and thomas wayne i haven't been the biggest fan of tom king's batman for the past 20 issues i really only feel like he's really hit his stride from the i am bane arc up and if he continues to be this good with issue 21 on, then I'm going to have to follow this book because I really enjoyed pretty much everything about this, which is helped a lot by Jason Fabok, who is my current favorite DC artist. Everything just looks great. It looks dynamic. It adds really well to the tone of the book. What's going to happen next? I'm not sure. But one thing is for sure, though, and here's just a slight spoiler of the book. Professor Zoom says and believes that he saw God. There's a lot of cool things going in, and I love this slow build that DC is doing with the Watchmen event. It's just, I can't recommend this book enough. It's $2.99 this week. If you're getting the lenticular cover, it's $3.99. Go pick it up. It's great. It's the start of something really cool for the next month. Also, join me next week when we talk about Flash 21, which is going to be the button part two. Obviously, I like the issue, but let me know how you guys feel about it sound off in the comment section below and always please remember to like share and subscribe here on comment plunder for more great videos well that's gonna do it for me i'm lucas i'll see you guys on the next round